there's about to be some big time changes on game days. What's going on, Canes fans? I warned you, don't say that I didn't. I promised more frequent update videos this season, even if it's just little short ones. Why? Well, if you're like me and you bleed orange and green, you are a ride or die Canes fan, you can never get enough Miami content or news. So if you want to stay up to date with the Miami Hurricanes this entire 2022 season, make sure that you subscribe and let's see if we can still hit that goal of 20,000 subscribers in 2022. Now, maybe to some of you guys, this is not a big deal, but it's a very big deal to me. Offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis let everyone know that he will be calling plays from the press box on Saturdays instead of being down on the field. When asked why, this was his response. It's amazing what you can see up top. One, it allows you to see what the opposing defense is doing to you. It also cuts down on emotional decisions. He brings up some very valid points, and this is something that I personally have wanted to see for quite a long time. And I totally agree with his statement about removing the emotion because even as a coach, you could find yourself getting sucked into the moment. I mean, when you're down there on the field and your players are jumping up and down, they're excited, you're excited. And then maybe next thing you know, you're going for it when you typically wouldn't or you maybe call a play that's uncharacteristic for you. And trust me, I get it. I know that there are some coaches out there that love to be in the thick of things, down there on the field with their guys, but I really feel like being up top is maybe sort of like being a bald eagle, uh, up in a tree, watching its prey, just waiting for the right moment to swoop in for the kill. Who writes these notes? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's me. But real talk, I do think it's a very smart and strategic move by Josh Gaddis. It's what he did at Michigan, and you don't have to worry. Our quarterback's coach and co-OC Frank Potts will still be down on the field with the players. That way he can one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Van Dyke and the other guys and be a little more personal. Now Kevin Steele, on the other hand, our current defensive coordinator, has made it known that he will be down on the field with the players. And that's just kind of a personal preference thing. It's what he prefers. And maybe he ends up changing his mind at some point in the season or later on down the road. But as of right now, he's going to be down on the field. So let me know how you guys feel about this. Because I personally think, just my opinion, I believe that we're going to be very divided on this. Because I think there's going to be some old heads that probably want to preach that they feel like it's better to be down there on the sideline, observing from the field level, you know, with all of your guys, getting in players' faces, you know, yelling and, and you know, being hyped up and right down there with all of the players. But then there's also going to be this other side, which is going to be the, the side that I'm on, where you prefer kind of having a, especially for the OC, right? You prefer them having a bird's eye point of view. That way they can really properly analyze everyone on the field every single down because it's personally honestly why i prefer the the nosebleed seats whenever i go to a college football game and i mean right you got the jumbotrons and all this stuff especially in hard rock but i like being able to kind of survey the entire field and see where everyone's at and what all is going on so i can definitely imagine that from a coach's point of view that that's amazing to be able to do that, right? So me, I'm just a fan. But as for a coach, it would be much easier to be up there in the box and actually be able to see everything going on on the field. So let me know, though. Let me know your point of view, what you think about this. Do you think it's a good idea, a bad idea? Is it indifferent to you? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to those guys, right? doesn't matter what we think. They're going to do what they feel like is best. And I do think that they are making the right moves here. And a lot of times, even these little small things, guys, because there's going to be people that hop in this comment section that they're like, Coop, it's really not that big of a deal. These small little details do matter. I remember Mario mentioning that they had brought in some people, not brought in people, but there were people already within the program. And they sent them out to go and measure the distance from the locker room to the field at Hard Rock 
So when they do walkthroughs and imitate game day, they can match the same amount of steps. So there's a lot of mental things, right, that go into this. So I, I love that, paying attention to those fine little important details. And I do feel like in the end that this could translate to more wins during the season. So don't be shy. Let me know how you feel about all this. I'm 100% all for it. And again, Kevin Steele is going to do what he feels like is, is best for him, what he's most comfortable with. So in doing what he thinks can allow him to make the biggest impact. Uh, do I wish he would jump up in the box as well? I mean, possibly, but we'll, 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 we'll see how it plays out, right? Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in the next one.